Good morning on this Christmas day. I'm Andy Dunning. I'm the pastor here at University Park United Methodist Church, and I'm glad that you're joining us for this brief prayer liturgy to celebrate the birth of the Christ child and after the four weeks of Advent to welcome the child into our hearts and into our homes. I hope that your Christmas morning is joyous and meaningful. The author of the Gospel of John writes, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. What came into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen His glory. In Luke's Gospel, the angel tells of Christ's birth by saying, Do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. We celebrate that birth today. We celebrate that it is good news of great joy for us, and we celebrate the calling it places on our lives to become the beloved community patterned after the life of the child, Jesus of Nazareth. Hear these words from the first letter of John. The author writes, Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent the only Son into the world, so that we might live through him. Let's pray together. Lord God, our creator, in ancient days you sent your prophets to teach us your wisdom and to call us to lives of justice and compassion. In the fullness of time, you sent Mary and Joseph, Elizabeth and Zechariah, John the Baptist to prepare your way. Today, you have brought us once again to that glad season when we celebrate the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that his Spirit may be born anew in our hearts this day, and that we may joyously welcome him into our homes and our families and our communities. Open our ears, that we may hear once again the angel's song, that our lives may sing your praises with full and open hearts. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill to all. As the dawn of Christmas Day shines with the brightness of your true light, may we be prepared to receive your beauty and your mystery once more. Grant that the light of Christ may illumine our path. Form us in the likeness of your Son, Open our hearts that we may greet the child of Christmas with joy, love, hope, and peace. Amen. Let's take a moment of silence. In Psalm 117, the psalmist writes, Lord of light and hope, may all your people praise you forever. May all the nations praise you. May all people everywhere give honor to your name, for you have compassion on all creation, and your faithfulness endures forever. Let's pray together at several points in this prayer. I'll invite you to respond by naming people who you're lifting in prayer. Holy God, heaven and earth are met today in this newborn child, Savior of your world. We gather to celebrate his birth, for in him you join your life to ours, so that our life might be joined to yours. As you have come to be a guest in this world, in this life, inspire in our hearts a hospitality that welcomes all your children in his name. We give you thanks this day for all you have so freely given to us and so freely given to all whom you have made. We thank you for the blessings of this life and this day 
Above all, we thank you for the blessing of your Son, Jesus. Grant us such an awareness of your joy and your blessing that with truly thankful hearts we may give you praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving ourselves to your service and by walking together before you in compassion and peace all of our days. Hear these prayers, O Lord. We offer prayers for all those with whom we share the journey, those who have been given to us and to whom we have been given. We pray for our loved ones, those who are here with us present today and those with whom we are present in heart and in spirit. May your birth bring us deeper into community with one another. I invite you now to speak aloud the names of your loved ones. We pray for all who are traveling in this season, O Lord, and for those who have decided not to travel or for other reasons are unable to be with their loved ones. May your birth bring us closer to one another in the fellowship of your body. I invite you now to speak aloud the names of anyone you know who is traveling over the holidays so that we can lift them in prayer together. We pray, O oh Lord, for all those who face illness and its consequences in this time of pandemic illness. May your birth bring us hope. May your birth bring us healing. I invite you now to speak aloud the names of those you know who have been infected with the COVID virus or with other illnesses. We pray, O oh Lord, for all those who suffer economic hardship in this cold and dark time of the year. May our faith community embody and live by your compassion, your love, and your justice for them. I invite you now to name aloud anyone you know who is facing economic hardship in this season. Lord God, we entrust all your world to your never-failing love and care, knowing that you love your creation to a degree far greater than we can ever desire or understand or pray for. And with all your people on earth, we pray that prayer now that Jesus taught those he called sisters and brothers and friends. Our Creator, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We know that the night is far gone. The day of Jesus is here. And so we rise with hope by the manger of the newborn child. We will sing into the silence as the light of Christ dispels all darkness, trusting in the promise of God, our Creator, of Christ, our Redeemer, of the Holy Spirit, our Sustainer, now and forever. Amen. Merry Christmas. And may the peace of Christ be yours, today and every day.